Hey guys, what's up? Swing Ginger here. So, um, here's a coin store pickup video um, from I think November. Uh, let me do the math here. Or uh, think about it. I think it's November 15th or 16th. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It was a Sunday. Um, today is November 20th. So, uh, whatever the last Sunday was, um, that's when I went. Um, I uh, did really good actually this time around. Um, I picked up some nice coins. Um, pretty much just some nice coins. Uh, I ended up paying, um, well, fifteen dollars for this coin, and then I think it was eighteen seventy-five total. So I did really good actually. Um, to, or I paid nineteen total. Um, yeah, I paid nineteen dollars total. Um, I did pretty good. Um, not as good as I've done in the past with some coin store finds, but not bad at all. So uh, let's start off here. Um, I found this here. Uh, it's a Thurston the Magician 1928 uh, token. Um, I found this in the foreign coin bin, and uh, this was the first bin I looked at. And I saw this off the top. First coin I pulled out was this coin, or a token. Um, it says Thurston the Magician 1928. Um, it says uh, Good Luck Charm Never Fails 1928. It's actually a little bit of cut in between the two, or on the two. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. No. It's a little bit of cut down there at the two. It's in really good shape. Um, a little bit rough down here. It might be a little bit bent, but I don't. I don't think it's bent. I think it's just some sort of way how they cut it, because it's a little bit cut off right there. It's a little bit thicker on that side. I think they just kind of cut it wrong, because it, it goes like that throughout the whole coin. I think it was just a bad strike. Um, this is a very cool uh, token. Um, I looked this up on eBay and uh, I paid a quarter for it and they're actually going for just about $30 in some case. Um, they're going for about 10 to $30 and they've sold for around that. Um, so I could probably get about 10 or 15 out of this. Uh, it's very nice. Um, very awesome. Uh, there's there's a high demand in some cases for tokens. There's a lot of collectors for tokens, especially good luck tokens. So I grabbed it. Um, this was in the Buffalo bin. I picked this up for uh, 75 cents. And it's actually a 1918 Buffalo. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. It's a 1918 Buffalo. Full date, probably about G to BG condition. And uh, this was 75 cents and. Whenever I see a full date 1919 or older buffalo, I always grab it. So I've bought actually like eight or nine of those 1918s now. So guys, um, let me know if you guys need a 1918 buffalo or a 1917 uh, full date buffalo or possibly even a 1919. Um, just let me know if you guys need any of that because uh, I definitely do a trade. Um, I'd, uh, yeah, I definitely do a trade for you if you guys need any of these coins. So I've got a bunch of these, and I always grab them because they're always worth more than 75 cents. So I figure, why not? And then uh, this one actually wasn't in any of the bins. Um, every time I go there, I always ask them, since silver's been low and they don't have much in the display floor, I always ask them if there's anything else that's not, you know, on, you know, the display floor. And they always have extra bins behind the counters that they still have yet to go through. And, um... You know, they'll deal with you with that, and uh, it doesn't hurt to ask if they have anything else laying around, because whatever's coin-related, I always say, if you have anything coin-related, I'll take a look at it. And um, I pulled out good stuff doing that, you know. They gave me good deals on a 1950D that was in a junk bin. Um, there's a lot of weird, strange coins that the owner of the store um, throws in the in the bins, and um, he doesn't, you know, really check it, and it adds up, and then... Uh, you know, I ask them if they have anything laying around, and they grab the bin, and uh, I always go through there and uh, ask them how much something is, and you know, kind of bargain with them a little bit. So this dime was in there, 1904 Barber dime, right? This is in one of the bins. Um, there is no price on it because it's just loose like this. I'm gonna go put it in a two by two. But um, he wanted. I asked the uh, the guy who's always there. That's the term I'm gonna use for him. Guy who's always there, I asked him um, how much he wants for it, and he uh, pr he brought out the red book, and he said four dollars, which would be a G condition coin, and it's like six or eight bucks in a fine fifteen or whatever it is, 
in pretty much right now because there's not quite a full liberty up there on the headband but it's, it's really close um, and he said four bucks and I was thinking in the back of my mind yeah, four bucks I don't really want to pay four bucks for a Merc Dime or a Barber Dime I don't usually pay over three um, or two because they're always in the junk silver bin so uh, I'm not really a Barber collector I don't really know you know I just kind of collect because they the Barber Dimes because I like them um, I like the detail and stuff so with the little knowledge I knew, um, I knew that four dollars was an okay deal. So I asked him three bucks because why not? Um, I know it'd be a steal if I got it for three, and he uh, he said yes. So got a 1904 barber for three bucks. It's in really good shape. Makes me wonder how these how barbers are sometimes in really rough shape and how some of them are in really good shape. Um, 1904 is a common date, but um, it's not too too common in this kind of kind of condition. So very nice. I just like the barber dimes. I think they're really cool and really neat. So I always grab them whenever I see them for pretty cheap. And then um, this was in there. This was in one of the junk bins. Um, large uh, silver coin. And I know silver uh, silver actually was up the day I got this. Um, it might, or it was still down. I don't know. It was either 15 or 16. I think it took a spike that day. It was like 16, 10 or something. And um, this coin was in there. And um, I, it's a, it's a large silver um, dollar. I think it's a yeah, it's a large silver dollar. And I asked him how much he wanted for it. He grabbed the catalog. He didn't really look at the catalog that well, um, to be entirely honest. He just kind of like looked at some quick prices and added it up in his head or something. I don't know what he even did. I don't even think it was in the book. I'm not sure. Um, he opened up the red book. I don't know why this wouldn't be in the red book. I guess he couldn't find it, so he just threw out a price. And he said $15 since this thing is silver. Um, and it's, it's, it's a silver dollar. Um, it's post-1935, so it's not a peace dollar or anything. It's a commemorative silver dollar, a uh, U.S. commemorative silver. And I've seen these in books and have never really bought one. I never actually knew I could actually afford them. And um, when he said $15, I knew this was a steal. So this was what I grabbed. Um, it's a 1983 P. And it's a uh, silver Ol Olympics coin. Uh, the 23rd Olympics, I think. 23rd Olympi Olympiad. 1983 Los Angeles Olympics. Liberty. Some of you guys actually might remember this Olympics. Um, this was a commemorative coin released, I think, the same year, shortly after the Olympics or before the Olympics, um, in 1983. And um, they made 294,000 of these, which is quite low. Um, this one's pretty much uncirculated. I just put the cap back on. Um, this one's obviously uncirculated. I don't think it's ever been taken out of the capsule. Um, I know I've never taken it out of the capsule. It's it's stuck in this side, so I'm just gonna leave it be. I assume this is still an MS69, um, the way it is right now, or an MS68. Um, I don't think anyone's fingered it. Uh, it says um, United States of America. There's a huge ego on there. E pluribus unum, one dollar, and it's uh, silver. And um, I had him weigh this for me because I wasn't sure what this weighs, and he said it was three fourths of an ounce of silver. Now. Three fourths of an ounce of silver compared to an ounce, not bad. It's ninety percent silver, ten percent copper. I looked it up in the book. Um, it's, it's not bad at all. Um, he gave it to me for fifteen bucks, and it catalogs for about thirty or thirty-five. So I'll probably get right around that for it. But there's no um, no th certificate of authenticity or uh, any original boxes or anything. But I assume I could get a box off of the eBay for like five or ten bucks and have it complete. Um, but yeah, it's a shame it's out of the box, but I mean, it's still a nice coin. Uh, I could probably get 20 or 25 out of it, but I figured $15, that's just a couple dollars over a spot if it's three-fourths of an ounce. Um, and I figured, you know, silver is at $16 that day, and I know it's going to rise. I know that the 16 or $15 it's at right now, or might even be 17 or higher. Um, I, don't, I haven't checked this price since Sunday, or Monday. Um, Silver's going to jump back up, I know that. Um, so, for you people who invest in silver and just kind of, you know, general numismatists and coin collectors and people watching my video, 
I'd say this is probably a good time to buy. If you see it under $16, I'd definitely say probably go for it and buy some silver. Um, because I, I'm, you know, I, no one knows for sure. But I can definitely bet you that silver is going to go right back up to $20 shortly within the next six or seven months. Um, you know, uh, and gas will probably be going up with it. Uh, I think the lowest I saw gas this year was 230 which has been, I think, the lowest I've seen it since 20. 2009 or 2008 um, and silver's been down like insane amounts um, I remember I bought a American Eagle in 2009 or 2010 for like 20 bucks and now you can get American Eagles for like 17 or 18 dollars um, the price of silver or something like that um, so definitely not bad at all so yeah um, I definitely say it's a good time to buy um, you know, like I said, no one knows for sure if it's going to jump back up or not, but usually silver price and gas prices and stuff seem to correspond or correlate with each other. So usually if gas goes up, it usually seems like silver and precious metals have gone up. So um, I don't know if there's a correlation in that, but definitely, um, i definitely say go for it. Buy some silver. It doesn't hurt if you can afford it. You know, buy a couple ounces um, while it's still low and, you know, maybe in... I, I know in 10 years from now it'll be uh, up. Who knows? Maybe in 10 years from now it'll be 10 bucks, or 10 years from now it'll be 30 or 40 bucks. Um, remember, there was a huge spike in silver in 2011, and it was worth up to 50 bucks, and now it's just a huge dip in 2014 where it's down to like 14, 15, 16 bucks. Um, so, you know, you never know. Um, I'd say it's a good time to buy, but so I picked it up because, you know, I know silver's going to. Right. So, thanks guys for watching. Um, sorry for the lengthy video, but uh, you know, I had to say some things and some opinions and stuff. And uh, I'd say I did pretty well for nineteen dollars. Um, I think for nineteen dollars, this token that I thought so little of pretty much paid for it. Um, and it, it, it amazes me how such a small coin, like this small token, that I actually figured would be worth not much because you know it's just a token. Um, but I know that good luck uh, and good luck charms and stuff were really popular during the Depression era, especially uh, one year before the stock market crashed and people were, you know, losing money and stuff. And good luck tokens were pretty common right around then. Um, I, uh, you know, I assume that there, there's not many of them left, um, and that you know, I know that there's a little bit of a market for it. So it, it just amazes me how one of these coins can be worth, you know. 10 or 15 bucks. Um, it's it's amazing how this coin could be worth about the price of a, you know, a circulated Morgan dollar. Um, it's very cool. So, thanks guys for watching. Happy hunting, and I will see you guys later.